Patreon request. Hey. Alex. Alex. Hey, so this month I'm torn between bands, but I think I'll go with my absolute favorite band this time around. I think it's Mekina. Mekina? Mekina? Mekina plays a very Maybe unique like blend it. of cinematic yeah. death metal with symphonic cyber and industrial undertones. Go. sci-fi industrial sounding. I have no idea what is happening right now. That's not good. Drummer. Drummer has arrived. Okay. This is fast as hell right here. This section is nuts. It, it's. Yeah, I'm trying not to breathe or I'm trying to be. Yeah, still. this is very intense. <laughs> I get the sci-fi kind of industrial aspect, mm -hmm. and it's layered in there really good. I have to say, the guitar, the tone of the guitar is so. I love the, the, the tone of the guitar is really just. Oh, it is really nasty. It's really dirty. It is really heavy. There's I love the tone like of the guitar. Some kind of like. Operatic, cheese. Like, yeah. Is that what it is? They're cheese, the yeah, background? are in the background yeah. since the beginning of this track. Mm. And I'm sorry, but then when they went full nuclear right here, this, the, like the double mm -hmm. bass, and then he started doing a blast beat right here, yeah. that, I had to pause it because I, I was like, wait, what? Jeez. <laughs>
uh, peaceful, meditative moment. It did not last long. Right back in. Well, yeah, this sounds like war, and then the, the lyrics, what they're talking about, it gets the song. Because it sounds like a war to me. Very intense. There's that guitar tone. This guitar tone is really nasty. This is an amazing guitar tone. Ah, uh, dirty. Ah, uh, great guitar tone. Oh, ah. Uh.
that is. I feel like my effing brain is being scrambled. This noodle. <laughs> noodle noodle time. Noodles. God. I'm like still kind of like trying to get a make on this band. Like I'm trying it's to catch up. A lot. Like they've yeah. thrown a lot at us right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to catch up. Uh. <laughs> it is a war. The specters are gone. man very impactful that was a lot to take in there were certain times i kind of was struggling i was like overwhelmed like it's a lot coming it's at you lot like a mile but they would <laughs> drop into certain sections and all of a sudden i would be completely locked in like locked into yeah. exactly what they're doing and other times i'm trying to wrap my head around because the speed like it's going so fast like, it's trying like to catch a, up. yeah yeah it's just like it is amazing and that's just a compliment to them of how fast that we're going that drummer well yeah go ahead just that's all i had to say that drummer. Well, you know, <laughs> no no but i got bummed out i'm not gonna lie like i went halfway through when i was listening to this mm -hmm. because i was being blown away and i'm like the effing drummer that's nuts like it was yeah but then it's programmed the drums are programmed. Uh, so it's not an actual drum. So I kind of uh, got bummed. And then okay. it kind of took me out like halfway through the track. Yeah. It took me out a little bit because I was I was like so like blown away. I was like, this drummer's crazy. And I'm like, wait, now it's programmed. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I was still able to enjoy the whole entire track. But it wasn't until like I didn't catch on to that until like midway through. I mm -hmm. did that crazy like blast beats that like brrr, like there's a gravity yeah, beat, a, a gravity beat. Up. Like, you know, uh, those are certain like blast beats, like a gravity beat, but, mm -hmm. um, it sounded like that kind of style, but then I, they, he said the, the drums were programmed, but anyway, I don't want to drill too much on that, but like yeah. about halfway through, mm -hmm. then I realized, but I still enjoyed the song, but then like all the crazy drum stuff, I was like, 
I love it. And a drummer because, can do it though. Yeah. So I get it. So like, yeah. you know, I, I still loved it. Um, it, I love the, it's very in, interesting, the kind of, it's a concept. I could tell mm -hmm. it was a concept as we're listening to it. And I'm like, yeah. I can't tell if we're out of sequence with the concept because if it's a story, mm -hmm. like there's nine albums, like where are we with oh, the albums and the story? Good point. Because we don't know what's going on with the storyline and the, the they... kind of, yeah. yeah. And, and the calls of what they were talking about. And then they would come in, you know, with the music. Is, and I'm wondering, is this a genre where... Um, I don't know. It, it, it has all, almost like this narrative throughout the song. Concept albums. There's concept yeah. albums. But I don't know if as far as bands have been done it on this kind of level, you know, in mm -hmm. storytelling. Because, you yeah. know, and it is 12 minutes. So it does sound like it's kind of like a narration to, you know, something that's written. You know, like, uh -huh. like kind of what they're... What they are, you know, they're representing what exactly what they're doing. So, yeah. I mean, I thought it was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. The guitar tone, I, I think you saw my reaction. Some of the guitar tone was That's incredible. Right. It was so nasty, so dirty, just woo, really. But just then there was some grooviness. And grooviness, some yeah. They yeah. had some beautiful <laughs> grooves, man, that yeah. dropped in. And I, it was like, I, I think they did a good balance because it really does come at you really intense. But they kind of like give you, they give you some grooves so you can get some rhythm going. And then absorb the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absorb the assault of the nuclear war that was apparently going on during this track. And then they did give you like a little in-between war, like when it's like, you know, the war and you have these little breaks between war and you're in a battle and a war. There's a little bit of, you know, yeah, I get what subsiding, you, you know, uh -huh. and they had those beautiful, I think they, like, the, those beautiful, like it may be in the story too, like the beautiful guitars, like when it broke down and it was mm -hmm. just really atmospheric, tranquil beautiful guitars, the cymbal work, you know, with the program, even with program drums and program drums, beautiful cymbal work, how they programmed it. Yeah. And, um, and then I love when the, 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 the second singer came in, it was a female voice, you know, it's a female voice. You can recognize it. Unexpected. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was, it fitted like almost yeah. like better maybe than the, well, I like the intense vocals uh -huh. as well, but almost like, I don't know if it was refreshing or if I liked it better than the actual singer singer, because uh -huh. it like, I think maybe because it's so intense and so chaotic and to hear like a, a beautiful a softness. angelic softness vocals uh -huh. come in and sing over something that is so intense. I think you gave it a good balance. A good balance. A good balance. No, I, I see what you mean. It was yeah. unexpected, but it, it really worked. What would you guys think about it? Do you guys yeah. like it? Put it in the comments below. Let us know. Um, Alex, thank you for your support. Thank if you guys you. want to support it, yeah, absolutely. And if you guys want to support us as well, uh, there will be links posted in the description box of this post below.